What's going on everyone? This is X25 and welcome to American Truck Simulator. And this is a game I've been wanting to introduce to the channel. And we are going to be starting a completely new profile. And right now I am just picking out the truck that I like best. And it's probably this one because it just looks American. Please enter the name of your company. Oh, let's see. What do we want to name the company? How about... X Space Jet. That's basically my username. And while we have it, this logo looks cool. Wait. I'm pretty sure that's an actual logo. I think that's the Firestone logo or something. Wait, select your picture. Oh, I need to set the picture. Let's see. This looks a lot like me. Well, at least an older version of myself. I'm 14. Um, yes, I want... Skip Wizard. So yeah, this is basically a game where you are basically a truck driver. And then you need to do jobs throughout the U.S. You get to travel everywhere. Like, from Arizona to New York to Maine. All those places. But, um, I'm pretty sure, like, there's a specific region that you can do. That you can only do, like... It's like to see where you want to start in. Like, there's only a specific region where you can do in. Like, you got California, Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico here. And then I'm pretty sure you also have, uh, Texas over... What's that? Camp Verde, Flagstaff. Uh, why don't we do Phoenix? Because that makes sense. Yeah, like, it won't let you do certain areas. I'm pretty sure... Although, I'm pretty sure there is, like, a mod that will make, like, the game, like, the complete game playable. Like, you can, like, you can travel throughout the, the whole country instead of just, like, this specific region. I actually really want to get that. I actually want to I actually really want to get that mod. Okay, do you want to walk through the tutorial? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I do want to get that mod that makes the full country playable. Um, but hopefully I can find, hopefully I can find it, uh, in, and it'll be installed by next episode. So you can count on that. And if you do want to see American Truck Simulator on the channel more, be sure to hit that like button and also make sure to smash that subscribe button if you do want to see this game and if you like semi-trucks and if you like America. Do it for our country. And also, be sure to join my Discord. I will leave a link to that down in the description below. You can post mods that you want me to try out, I guess, in the in a section. Well, I, I, although I do need to set up a channel for American Truck Simulator now. Anyways, here we are on the tutorial. Welcome to American Truck Simulator. To continue, you press enter. At last, you have a chance to experience your dream job, driving a truck. Uh, it's not really my dream job, but okay. <laughs> my real one is to work for SpaceX, by the way. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you will have to work for our companies as a driver for hire. Okay. Your task is to safely deliver load, a load to office supplies to Walbert, Doc, in Phoenix. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Walmart. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. I'm pretty sure a Nermile download is like, is another, I'm pretty sure a Nermod I would like to download is like a mod that will like have realistic companies. So that way we don't have like weird ones like Walbert and stuff like that. <laughs> Like, what the world, what in the world is Walbert? What in the world is Walbert? I've never heard of that. Although it could be a store somewhere, you never know. I didn't know that Publix was an actual thing until I went to Florida. So it's possible. I'm wondering if there's a mod for this game that will uh, allow you to play on, like, other states and other US territories like Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, and Guam. 
Okay, you press E to start the engine. It's basically the ignition. Throttle is up or the arrow keys. You use the arrow keys to control it. It's the arrow keys or WASD. Okay, drive forward a few meters to the next stop. You, okay, and you lose the parking brake by doing space. And drive forward a few meters and stop. Interior camera is one, chasing camera is two, top down camera is three. I would like to do the chasing camera, please. Roof camera, lean out camera, bumper camera, on wheel camera, drive by camera. Those are four, five, six, seven, and eight. Try different views and then press enter to continue. It's time to make a delivery. Use root advisor or route advisor to see uh, where you what where you are and where you need to go press f1 to look closer okay i'm guessing f1 is paused i haven't played this game in a little bit so i'm remembering the stuff f2 toggle side mirrors okay we got that 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 let's have both sides on okay when the game is paused you control you can control route advisor with the with the mouse you can have a stat nav called Root Advisor available at all times. Route, route Advisor displays your current status and helps you with information about your current job and points where you need to go. Okay, continue. There are also shortcut keys assigned to the most often used functions, which you can use instantly while driving. The available keys are suggested directly by Route Advisor. Your current status, current speed, gear damage, fuel fatigue, email indicator, Time and your money. Contents of currently selected page. Page toggles. Switch between navigation, current job description, truck diagnostics, and short messages. So this is basically the map, which is kind of like a GPS in real life. Why don't we hit continue here? The navigation map shows your current position as a blue arrow. If you are on a job, it also shows the shortest route to your destination in red. At the bottom of the page, there is an estimation of the remaining trip time and distance, and you can cycle through different zoom levels by pressing F5 or the button on screen. Switch job, switch to job description page F6 to continue. Okay, why don't we do that? The job description page summarizes what you are carrying and where. It tells you when you are expected, how much time you have left and how much money you will receive if you arrived on time without damaging the cargo. You can also cancel the job, if you really must, by pressing the red button. In that case, you will have to pay a substantial sum as a, pe as a penalty. Switch to Diagnostics page, F7 to continue. So this is ba basically the uh, what your job is. On the Diagnostics page, you can see how badly your truck and and your cargo are damaged. The truck can be repaired at a service station in AC. The damage to cargo, however, is permanent, so be careful. If you happen to get stuck on the road, you can also call road assistance by hitting the L button for a fee that for a fee that they will take you to the nearest city and help you get back work help you help get you back working. That is a weird sentence. This is all you need to know about Root Advisor. You can Run this tutorial again at any time by pushing the help button. Try and get the door. To unpause the game and continue playing, press F1. Okay, and then we can close the tutorial here. Okay, so let's get. Let's continue with our mission here. This is a little bit weird because, uh, oh, great, no, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay, you use the, the bracket keys for blinkers. And then I'm pretty sure you use uh, the slash key for um hazards or something like that i don't clearly remember <gasps> dang it <laughs> we just got on the road and i crashed into a pickup truck 
Okay, looks like he's going to let me go here. Okay, looks like they're both letting me go. And I do have the graphics on high. So that way, because before, it, lo it looked very fleshed out and I just didn't like it. So I just changed it to what I liked best. And I really like the high graphics best. And before I got, it was extremely laggy, but now my computer's gotten used to it, and it's now used to it. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You will also be fine if you go above the speed limit. If you go by a police car and you're speeding. So, yeah, that is also a thing. Oh, yeah, like that police car right there. Hey, it's got the actual Phoenix police cars. How do I know this? Because I live in Phoenix. Well, I kind of do. It's technically in Scottsdale, but that's a suburb of Phoenix, but it still counts. Oh, I gotta be careful. Yeah, I have a heavy, I have a heavy foot on the gas, even though I am using arrow keys. For a second there, I thought that was like a police car. <laughs> it could have been like an undercover police. Ooh, an Aston Martin. Okay, stop worrying about the car cars and focus on the route. That was close. What is 42 print? I'm wondering what that is. An ideal spot for unloading the delivered trailer was designated. At some terminals, you may use an easy alternate spot. For less experience, you'll, if you get into trouble, you may also choose to finish the delivery automatically. A rectangular area will be highlighted on the ground and marked in Rootivisor as the place to park the trailer. When the trailer is properly positioned, a message will appear asking you to detach it. Okay? So, why don't we pull into here? This is basically where we need to go. Okay, we just stop here. Okay, we press enter to get into here. A skilled truck driver can deal with maneuvering tight space when dropping off a trailer. However, cargo safety is a top priority. If you do not feel up to the challenge, negotiate with the dispatcher for a backup place to park for the tra to park the trailer. And the ideal spot for unloading the delivered trailer was to... Okay. Okay, that's basically the same thing. Okay. We're going to do where do you need it because I always do that. This is full of simulation. And I'm pretty sure they do not negotiate with the dispatch in real life. I have never heard of that a bit. One bit. Although I do not pay attention. And why can I not go in reverse? This isn't good. Why can't I go in reverse? What the heck? Go in... Uh-oh. This isn't good. There we go. Patience. It looks like that I'm missing my front bumper. Well, at least part of it. Yeah, it's kind of a weird because you need to press the arrow key again if you're changing directions. I need to watch out for the trailers. Okay, where do we need to park? It looks like the very last one, right? Wait, no, 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 we passed it, we passed it, we passed it. And of course, it's in between two trailers. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, great. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, the problem with... The problem with parking, uh... Like a big semi-truck like this one, with the trailer on the back of it, it's pretty tedious and it's also very annoying gotta be very precise with your positioning and i need to stop right now or i'm going to crash into something i need to readjust the camera okay that's better okay let's try and turn this thing around because i overshot it um i really hope i do not hit that fence pole Oh, I hit the fence, but it wasn't hard enough to damage my vehicle, so that's good. I am doing very, very slow maneuvers, but it's good to be cautious in this case. Okay. I should get lined up right about here. That seems like a good... It looks like that fire is coming out of my... out of the front of the truck. It's weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's start backing up. But first, let's pull forward a little bit more. So that we can get all the room we need. 
no, 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 no. We want to go the other way. Turn the other way. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is very close. I am playing it dangerously, and I am not going to make it from there. This is extremely hard. You have no idea. I probably should have just played it safe. Because this is going to take a while. Why can't I? There we go. Yeah, like I said, it's very, very tedious. It, when it comes to reversing. Like, you gotta be very careful. I have uh, done it before where you can basically go straight into the parking slot with no trouble at all. You just need to be very, very... You just need to go very, very slow to keep the trailer from going going in which either direction. And I am going to end up crashing into that other trailer, aren't I? Now, there's another way you can do this. Um, let's see. Uh, I need to... How do you detach the trailer? Um, I'm forgetting the controls already. Is that one? Is it that one? No. That one? No. That one? No. Whoops! Okay, that's the access to map. Oh, that's the horn. That's not it. What does C do? I have no idea. Whoops. Oh, F is hazards. Oh, not our horn. That's the lights. Lights, more lights. Um, P? That's windshield wipers. I know, you know, T, there we go, sure. how did I not think it was T before, It was. it's like the most obvious key, oh yeah, parking brakes on, yeah, this is the easy way to do, this is the cheap way to do it, you just detach it and reposition the truck, why can't I, it's that issue again, and I thought I'd turn off my lights. Wait, it, it's probably why. I might have activated a beacon or something. Wait, no, O. Oh. For a second there, I thought the windshield wipers were on. And I accidentally turned them on by accident. Okay, basic, basic maneuvers here. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Oh, and also, I also helped myself out there as well. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Although I am off-centered a little bit. This is what American Truck Simulator is all about. Trying to do the most parallel parking job in the world. Yeah, and like you if you're if you're wondering if you can do this with a double trailer, if you have like double trailers, like when you have like two trailers, it, you know what I mean. Anyways, it won't let you do this if you have that. 
because it's just virtually impossible. You cannot control, like, you can control, you are able to control, uh, one trailer from, like, going in whichever direction. It's just not possible with, uh, well, it's just simply not possible with, uh, the other, with double trailers. Okay, let's detach the trailer again. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. I'm backing into here for nothing. Wait, where are you supposed to park then? Oh, no, 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 not there. Where are you supposed to park then? Hold up. Are we not supposed to park there? Where are you supposed to park? If you're not supposed to park there, then where else, where are where are you supposed to park? We either broke the tutorial or we screwed something up very bad, very badly. Seriously though, where do you park? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter which one you do. Oh, I guess you don't really have a choice because that one's filled with uh, uh crates. So, I'm guessing you have to do that one. You kind of have to do that one. <gasps> okay! Okay, that was close. I did not see that coming at all. Wait, can we pick up these trailers? I'm wondering. Nope. Well, that makes sense because it's the tutorial. It's the tutorial. And I'm going to adjust the camera again. Okay, I'm nearly there. Trust me, guys. I know this is a little bit boring. Well, that's what you get for getting parking, uh, doing a most parallel parking job possible for a truck with a trailer attached to it. Hopefully I can get the trailer. I'm basically back to where I was before. This is the same exact spot where I was last time. Well, earlier at least. Do that. This is extremely hard. You have no idea. Oh. Jeez. I am probably not going to get hired. And I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. It's just a car outside. Whoops. Not again. I know. This is the. This is impossible. I should have just done play it safe. Wait, I might have it here. 
just turn here. I do not remember taking this long to get in here last when I played when I first started playing this game. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Come on. Just get in here. Yes, I might have it. I might have it. Here we go. Wait. I am such an idiot. It literally shows the spot the spot on the map where the where the park where you're supposed to park. And I just spent all that time for nothing. <laughs> and I would I, I literally just pulled right in there. Oh my gosh. I am such an idiot. I'm so stupid. I feel so stupid right now. I wonder how long I wonder how long you guys have been screaming at me. I wonder how long you guys have been screaming at me that the that it shows you that shows on the map where you're supposed to park. I'm wondering how long you've been doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna pull forward a little bit more. It'll give me a little bit more space. And I am now parking in the correct spot. If I can. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm getting close. I'm like halfway in the box. And I'm not going to be perfectionist. I just want to get in the parking spot because this is taking this is taking way too long to already do. And I'm pretty sure the tutorial has never been been this long. This is the longest tutorial I've taken in my life. Whoops. That was my bad. No, 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 no. Why am I not able to turn. There we go. I was just turning the wrong way. Wait, I want to go that way. I have no idea why I was trying to turn the other way. Here we go. Yeah. 
Here we go. There we go. There. <laughs> Finally. Uh oh. Stop. Finally. <laughs> it was close to an hour. That's great. Or is that in game time? I really hope that's in game time. Okay. I am going to show you some other stuff that the game has to offer. Like, before you buy a truck, there's like... Well, first, there's a bank where you can have loans and stuff like that just to, get, just to repair the trucks. And... You can also buy uh, a headquarters, like a, a truck factory or something like that. There's also a... There's also a... Like, before you get a truck, there's also a... Oh, what do you call it? Oh, there's a, on the job menu. Uh, before you get a truck, there's like jobs that have a truck for you. So you don't need a truck to do it. Anyways, this is your headquarters, and you are able to upgrade this. It's a pretty basic garage, but it may it may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park here there yet. There are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and buy a truck, you will be able to move in the world in the world freely and run your own business from here. Okay, good luck. Okay, and then you. Okay, here you can see the progress. You can see your experience, the dry, the driven distance, your rating, the progress history, skills, profiles, profile, foe, studio. And then you go here to pick your next job. And then you, you obviously, there's a one job you can do. Quick job, which gets hired as a one. Oh, wait, what is this? Toggle tips on or off. On a map, select a discovered city to see available job offers that start here. That start there. Select a job offer and start driving. Uh, use sorting to see the offers you prefer at the top. Phoenix Freight. What is this? Machinery. Containers and liquid. Refrigerated. Construction. Bulk cargo. What is this? Kenworth, Peterbilt, okay, that's truck types. Um, I don't want this to go for too long. Uh, why don't we do distance, oh, route length. Whoops, wrong one. It's the, it's this one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, it's the other one. It's this one. Yes. That one is still long. How about this one? I'm pretty sure this one is a lot less. Okay. That is not... <laughs> Let's see. I I'm just gonna go until I see one that I know is short. Uh, Yuma, Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon, Yuma, Sierra Vista, Sierra Vista, Sierra Vista, Flagstaff, Yuma, No Nogales, Nogales again, Tucson, Flagstaff, and Flagstaff. Where's Sierra Vista? That's what I want to know. I know Holbrook is a pretty short distance. So let's do this one. Okay. It is Monday. It's 10.58 a.m. in game time. Current job is Fruits. It's from Phoenix to Holbrook. And the money that we'll get from it is... 
about 5,500, which is actually a lot. I mean, like, all that for just one job? That's a, that's a fortune. Well, at least right now it's a fortune because we're broke. And we have no money. Anyways, and I want the chase camera, please. Thank you. Okay, yeah, you can also start the engine today by just pressing the arrow key once. Oh, yeah, parking brake. And this looks like it's a very, very long trailer. Yes, it is, indeed. It looks like it's in the same exact place from the tutorial. Okay, so... I almost went there and there was a truck right there. I also need to be careful about the load because it could just hit the fence right here. Ah, come on! Well, it's not my fault. I didn't even know he was there. Because of the stupid trailer was blocking the view. Anyways, let's get on the road and just get to Holtbrook as fast as possible. But at the same time, obeying all the laws. You have discovered a recruiting agency. Here you can hire drivers that will... I have no idea what that said because it... I haven't really used those things before, so I don't really know what they do. So apparently you can hire drivers to do some work for you. Okay, looks like they're going to let me go. And I do have my blinker on. Okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm like, I, I was about to say, I swear, if that bus goes and hits me, I am not going to be happy. And... Other truck do not hit me. I also do not know if my blinker is still on. Okay, now I can see it. Yeah, it's better to have a zoom, a more zoomed out camera on this as well, so that you can actually see uh, some of the things. Uh oh, no, 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 no! I am not swerving. I am not crashing into anything. I already crashed into one thing, but that wasn't my fault. Because I couldn't even see the car. Well, I could technically have seen the car. But if the trailer wasn't in the way. But that doesn't matter. And why is it in park? Why is it going into parking? Come on. Get before the van cuts me off. Yes. Oh, that is close. Okay. That scared me. I was very close to hit Hitting the guardrail. That would have been good. Okay, now we can get up to speed. Speed limit is 75 miles per hour on I-17. And usually the ones that have more money, they're usually longer routes as well. Which is why I chose one of the shorter... Oops! I accidentally activated the parking brake. <gasps> yeah. Note to self, remember kids, always make sure that you do not accidentally activate your parking brake by accident while you're on the highway. Because if you do, you'll probably cause a massive car pile up behind you. And right now we're currently in the slow lane, as you can see, because everyone's passing me. And this is not fully to scale either, because I'm pretty sure the I-17 isn't like this. Like, I know what the 101 is like, and it's like a five-lane highway on each side. And this is like a two-lane highway, so I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's not what this is like. It would be a lot nicer if, like, there it was a, like a f complete full-scale map of the United States. But then again, it would take like about two hours to get there. And no one really wants to have their hand on the, the, the W key, uh... For like two hours. And I do not want to go off the highway here. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble steering, as you can see. Oh, yeah, there's also a cruise control. So if you press C, it'll just basically, st it'll just basically stay at the current speed you were. 
And yeah, it automatically controls the speed for you, which is kind of nice. It's, I really like that feature. It saves you a little bit of work, and you have more free of a hand. Uh, we are making our way to Hopebrook, and we will arrive there in 3 hours and 20... Uh, three and a half hours in game time. I do remember that it was like one of the more closer towns, so I'm not too worried. So why don't we just go, why don't we just drive along here? We can actually speed up a bit. It is 70, the speed limit is 75 miles per hour after all. Yeah, I can, cruise control, I'm pretty sure will automatically deactivate. Once you have your hand on the arrow key, on the- Okay, that was bad! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, dang it, the trailer- the load is damaged. Oops! That was bad on my part! <laughs> yeah, oops. Uh, I did not see that coming at all. I thought I was- I thought I was good with the guardrail, but apparently no, I wasn't. They're not going to be happy because the load is damaged. Yeah, I will get better at this. And it will be like a full-blown, super realistic American Truck Simulation gameplay. But until that point, I'm going to, I'm just going to have to deal with that. Road work ahead. That means like the speed limit's going to go down a bit. And why am I in the shoulder line? I have no idea. Okay, we're fine. Okay, no, do not hit the car. Do not hit the car. A half a mile. Yeah, I was trying to look for one with Camp Verde on it. Because it's like the shortest... It's like the town that's within close, closest proximity to Phoenix. Okay, that was close. Oh, it's, not, it's got actual sound effects. That's something I don't remember. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure that Flagstaff was a lot closer than Holbrook, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong on that, though. But we are making pretty good time. And... In all means. Yeah, we want to go towards Flagstaff. Yeah, that's the exit towards Montez Montezuma Castle. Uh, watch out for the cars. Yeah, you want to be mindful of the traffic around you because you never know what they're going to do. And you also need to, if you're going to change lanes, you got to be careful as well. Because you got to watch out for cars in front of you and behind you. Just to make sure that they're not doing anything crazy and, you're, and they're also not on your way. What is that? Okay, just a notification app on my watch. Okay, I do need to slow down here. I do. I have crashed into this. I have crashed into this several times in my history of playing this game. And I end up jackknifing the trailer. And I actually saved it there. Okay, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Yeah, now we're getting up to northern Arizona in Flagstaff. Okay, I gotta be careful. I don't want to jackknife the trailer like I did so many times before in this area. No, 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 no. Gotta be careful. Watch for the cars. Watch the turns. Watch the guardrails. I am scaring myself. Yeah, this is great. I really should get a steering wheel. I got a feeling it will be a lot better on, it will work a lot better for this game. Well, right now, I'm just going to have to stick with the keyboard. Because I'm used to keyboard controls. And I also don't have the money to buy the steering wheel set up. So, yeah. No. No. Okay, I'm getting very paranoid about this. 
Making sure that I don't not hit any vehicles and stay in my lane and not go all over the place. Okay, how much further until the destination? About two hours in game time. It's a good thing that this video is not lasting two, hour <laughs> two hours in real time. That would be bad. Okay, there's keep an eye out for deer. I'm pretty sure there are no animals in this game though. It would be cool if there was some wildlife. That would be nice. But then again, this game is morally focused on like traveling. No, I got to be careful with the cars here. Okay. No, dang it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you can just see him in the rear view mirror. Well, it's not one of these areas. I am not liking these areas at all. Not one bit. Okay, that was close. And I am just flying down the road. Dang it! I jacked back the trailer again! Gosh darn it. Luckily the trailer didn't get damaged. Hold on. Um, can I actually check that? There are no short messages. Uh, the trailer is damaged 3%. Luckily, uh, if anything, I'm more happy that the, tr that the truck is damaged more than the trailer. So that's good. Anyways, let's go back to this... Hold on, I need to have my fingers off the throttle for a second. Anyways, let's continue on to Holbrook. Looks like someone got a tire ripped off. Yeah. Uh, I have eventually learned on how to steer on the long banking turns. You just need to tap the the left or right arrow keys. Okay, do I... Okay, I need to turn off here. Now, I'm pretty sure it's the first exit off of this highway. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And why don't we coast here? I kind of had to coast there anyway because the car was coming. And I didn't want. And, I, and I'm going to have a bad. I'm going to be very. I'm going to be very sad if I was going to be very sad if I hit that car. Okay, we are coming up to Flagstaff and Page, which means Holbrook is not that far. It's a we're a hour we're an hour and a half out from Holbrook. Well that's in game time. Okay, I do need to slow down here. And also, one of my issues I have with this game is that uh, when it turns nighttime, it's like not until like close to 11 p.m., which is very unrealistic. I don't know why, but that just bugs me. Anyways, we are about to get... What the heck? He barely touched me! I don't even think he did touch me. We need to play that back in slow-mo. I didn't see the car until, like, after the notification popped up. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh, great. I'm getting the death wobbles. I'm getting the death wobbles. There we go. Now we're going straight. This is what I want. Hello, other cars. Okay, there we go. Oh, great. We're going above the speed limit. We need to coast now. We need to start coasting. I do not want to get uh, a ticket for speeding. Okay, now we're good. Actually, I should put on cruise, cruise control. That would be a wise decision. We are about, uh, let's see. We're less than an hour out at now in game time. Oh, I think I can see the exit already. Uh, no, you can't really see on the GPS. Oh, wait, no, nope, the map needs to load in. Never mind. It's also very weird because you can also see, like, the vehicles spawning in, like, on the map. Like, look, you can literally see the vehicles spawning in. Yeah. They literally just spawn in with a de within a decent proximity around you. And, like, the map and everything else spawn... What the heck? I didn't even hit him! Yeah, as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by the police. Yeah, uh... After playing this game for a while, you notice that, like, the map and everything else on the map will spawn within a close proximity won't spawn until you're within a close proximity to it <laughs> which is kind of funny because you can actually see it happening <gasps> yeah that's how they keep the frame rate so high that's how they do it oh wait the, the car stopped spawning oh please don't tell me I have to do the wait test I really do not want to do the wait test I just passed it too so can't do it now yeah, we're getting close to our destination, so we probably won't have to. I'm pretty sure it's only for when you're traveling between states. Okay, we're about to arrive in Holtbrook. We are 11 miles out. 60 minutes out in game time. Okay, there's the exit. Sorry, Van, but I'm going to need you to move. Or I could just put on my brakes. Which is kind of... Which is probably a bad idea on the freeway! Yeah, that's probably a bad idea to do on the... I can't even get... Get out of my... you got to be kidding me. I hate the traffic in this game. Yeah, that was not a smart decision. I already need to pay a fee of over $400, so I'm... So part of the money I'm going to get from this is probably going to be paying for... That. And... Plus some of the damage I did with the truck and the trailer. Or they put that on me for it. I have no idea how that works. Well, I do. I just forget how it works. And it's a good thing I saved that. Looks like we also have a dealership over here. Oh, wait. We discovered Holtbrook. Oh, and we made an achievement. Copper State, 2 out of 15. Yeah, you get uh, achievements for discovering all the cities in each state. I'm going to move up a little bit. I'm pretty sure I can. Why am I moving? That's weird. Oh, hello, fellow truck driver. How you doing? Okay. Wait. <laughs> Do you see the car in the bottom right corner? You, Since it's a convertible, you can see that there's no driver in the vehicle. Oh, that's great. Ha, ha, ha.
Okay. Now we can go. Where do we need to go, GPS? Let's see here. Okay, I do need to uh, slow down here. Uh, put on my blinker so that way they know. I might need to uh, hit the brakes here. Looks like they're all turning right. Oh, the Mustang isn't. Okay, let's go down here. I really do not. I really hope I don't hit the sign. I'm pretty sure it's not even your fault if you do hit. If you do hit the sign, it's because of the length of the trailer. Okay, we are making our way over towards our destination. I'm wondering where this truck is going. He's going the same place where we are going. No, no, you never know. No, he isn't. Oh, well. Anyways, we are going to be going to our destination and finishing up the mission. And let's do it before the bus cuts us off. Yes, not today, bus. Not today, AI traffic. You're not ruining my day. Oh, it's the teepees. I've seen those in real life. Okay, gotta be careful with that truck. Uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. Wigwam Hotel. Well, Motel. Okay, we need to turn off here. Pretty sure, yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Although, the thing's on the other side. That's great. We might need to do some maneuvering to get out of this one. This is something you probably would never do in real life. But you can do it in an American Truck Simulator, so why not? Ah! There's a cement mixer right there. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like Dunkin' Donuts or something right there to the left. <gasps> I was so close to hitting that traffic. Okay, why don't we uh, put on our blinker so that way people will yield to us. Okay, where are we supposed to put this load? Okay, that you stupid. Why does it randomly go backwards? I have no idea. Press enter before it moves out. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's do this. And confirm. Okay. Red flag has been designated to the map. This is going to be fun. Okay, let's go through here. We're supposed to park over here, I'm pretty sure. Wait, I've been here before, so I know. Okay, just as I expected. You're supposed to park over there. Although I came in the completely wrong direction to do this, so we're going to have to make an extremely big turnaround. Let's just do this. We're going to end up waking that guy up that's just sleeping on the job. I need to turn around the camera so that way I can see behind me and make sure I don't hit anything. There we go. I'm actually going to do this. Yes. Good. Uh, 
Okay. No, 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 no. I want to turn the other way. Oh, that was weird. Uh, the truck just bounced. I'm actually going to do this. I'm legit going to do this in one go. No, this is a first. There's no way. I'm probably going to do it. I'm probably going to screw something up very badly, though. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this in one go. There's absolutely no way. You just crashed into the railing. Okay, we are streamed out. No, 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 no. Let's correct it. Let's correct it like that, like so. There we go. Just take it nice and easy. I'm just letting it coast right now. I'm not touching. I'm not touching anything. It's just doing this automatically. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. It's satisfactory. Not bad. Let's see what we get. Yes, we reached a new rank. Anyways, that's my first impressions of American Truck Simulator. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Also, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. I will we'll leave a link to my Discord down in the description below. If you want to see more of this game, do let me know in the comments section. And I will see you guys 